air was filled with smoke and blood. Rome was weak. The tribes grew in strength and number. Their roots went deep, and they felt the Earth's blood pounding through the land. But their borders were threatened, for a great storm raged in the east. One by one, the tribes scattered as seeds in the wind. And behold, a red horse, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. The blood of their kin would be avenged. Great hunters, they tempered their blades in Roman blood and saw their once mighty walls reduced to dust. They made ready for war. Formerly settled north of the Danube, your people are once again on the move, compelled to flee by the arrival of the Hunnic hordes. Your Gepid cousins have already been subjugated. Liberating them may help you reclaim the region, but the Huns are relentless, so it may be prudent to keep moving until you find a place to settle and rebuild your strength. The Eastern Roman Empire is rich and powerful, so migrating to the fertile, vulnerable western regions would be wise, plundering as you go to sustain your people. Settle, and you can rebuild what was lost, and more. A mighty and enlightened Ostrogothic kingdom to keep the darkness at bay. Alright, everybody, welcome to our newest Let's Play. This is Havoc. You guys voted, and I listened. And we are playing as the Ostrogoths. Chapter 1, Preparation. They made ready for war. Survive until 400 AD, Treasury 2000. So like I said, you guys, we put it up to a vote. And uh, you guys voted for the Ostrogoths. They start out as a horde. And we start, we just have these two armies. We do. So get this. Let's see, we start out with some spearmen, sword ranged and a couple of cav. Can we even research while we're on the move? I guess we can. Uh, let's do recruitment cost, sure. Okay, so real quick, we're gonna look here. We have our king, and it looks like his brother. Yep, it's gonna, that's what it looks like. And then we've got a uh, illegitimate child, which will probably drop down as a companion. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, in the companion thing. So we'll drop um, our other Safrax, he's our other general. <coughs> uh, personal influence, recruitment cost for the commanded force and wealth, plus four from agricultural buildings. Um, these guys really don't do anything, so I'm not going to drop them anywhere. Uh, we have a son and our heir, Owenimar, Owenimar. let's see, Vith Vithricus is our king. Alright, um, summary... Here are our traits. We have the Great Migration, which is growth, plus 250 when initiating a migration or resettling. That will help uh, once we actually resettle. And if we need to move again, we get a crap ton of growth to use to build infrastructure quickly. Inheritors of Rome, this is where it gets really good. No instability when occupying settlements from Roman factions. So that means we are obviously going to be at war with them. We are at war with them. And... Uh, we won't get any instability from taking over their settlements. And we can also recruit Roman units in settlements with Roman military buildings. That will, as I explained in the vote, that will help us build a strong, powerful army right off the bat, and then we can convert buildings later. Um, we're Aryan Christian, Perium noteworthy, 
We have a food surplus, which gives us replenishment and horde growth. So we're going to keep just moving on here. How much do I need? Minimum requirement is 25%. That's what I figured. Uh, we are at war with the Huns, and we're also at war with the Roman Empire. The Roman Empire, they are strength ranking 1, but they have 68 regions to try and conquer, which we all know doesn't ever work. So, an effort to keep to our true calling, uh, we will just encamp. Uh, ba -ba -ba -bum. What do I want to do? Artisan gives me wealth. What can I even recruit? I can recruit some units. We got, what, five on each side? But I don't want to spend too much right off the bat. Germanic band, we need probably a couple of those eventually. I won't worry about it now because we need to focus on growth. Uh, lavish tents, integrity, raiders, gathering, herders camp. We have 25 food, so I don't really see an issue there. Uh, communal grounds. Yeah, sure, we'll go communal grounds over here. And then raiders gathering. Yeah, we'll try that. Or lavish tents. Gives us integrity and wealth. We'll actually go artisan over there too. Ready for orders. All right, so this part will be an hour long. I always do hour long intros, uh, so no need to worry there. And we'll see what we can't get done. Maybe we can even get settled by the end of this first part. We'll just have to see. Of course, starting over, there's every faction in the book, so interns will take a lot longer. Uh, that's one of the main reasons why I always do it. Political obstruction, uh, we will decree it. He only has 52, but that's okay. Picks in the Western Roman Empire, construction of an artisan across both. That gives us a pretty good amount of boosted income. Let's move in over here. Uh, let's raid it. Yeah, that's good. Uh, and let's move this dude over here. We'll encamp. And then we'll actually... Is there any good recruited units that we can get? Not really. I want to get some horsemen. There we go. Let's see. The skill of your generals is famous. Can you send them against Join these war against those guys? Our lives? Uh, no. Not, not at all. No amount wants me to do that. Them Huns, and we also have to deal with the White Huns now. Which, of course, we are the White Huns in my other Let's Play, so... We'll see how that ends up turning out. We are going to go after Sir Sermimum. Our Imperium has increased. Awesome. Devotion, loyalty, plus one. We encountered Dacia. We have, uh, we can ma made communal grounds. Household gained. Godons, inspire. Battle movement speed, plus 10%. Melee attack, plus 10. Unfortunately, our armor goes down. Regional defense force has been researched. That's not what I wanted to do. We'll go down, get commun community property. That will work. Let's we'll see if there's anything good that we get. Not really. I mean, we do, but you know what I mean. Okay, so we're going to besiege this. Oh, man, we'd win big time. Uh, but we need three turns for that. And then we're going to get right behind him. On the move, lads. We got two turns, right? What if I bump up taxes just a little bit? How far will we go down? We go down pretty far. No, we're doing okay. Yeah, we'll be fine. 
Because I can't recruit. Nope, there's no catapults. Alright, in turn. Sermium. We will probably... Actually, I probably should raid this guy rather than this guy. I don't know. We'll see who has more income and we'll adjust accordingly. But the Romans are going to have a hard time. We're going to raid and we're going to pillage. Uh, I think I might settle in the southern tip of Italy. There may I don't know there will really be a whole lot of factions down there. I don't really quite remember. Military investment. War declared the Gatu Gatulians. The Western Roman Empire, they're just getting hit hard. For the tribe. We uh, okay, so we're going to do... I need to see, like, trade routes. They going to give me any trade routes? Maybe not. Ready for orders. Uh, let's go here. There we go. Gives us a little bit of a buff. One more turn. In the turn. But anyways, I feel like yeah, mid mid Italy. You are strong and wise, and yet I wonder why you stand aside. Uh Nabasia, Lazica, and the Eastern Roman fight. Empire. I really don't want to attack them yet. I mean, I'm raiding their lands, but other than that, we're not gonna do that. We may not actually fight this battle, since we're going to so blatantly win. I'd like to try and get settled within this first part. Call to arms. Uh, enter on the side of the ally. That's fine. Push their king back. Yeah, ziggies. Illegitimate birth, that's never good. Swabians of the Western Roman Empire. Community property war coordination targets available. That's good. That's good. Uh, upkeep minus 10. Ammunition unlocks recruitment. Yep. All right. We're just going to go ahead and protective stance this one. Uh, we apparently lost zero. That'll work. Uh, loot and occupy. We're not going to occupy it because we'd lose our migration, so we're actually going to sack it. Thirsty for battle. Which, both my guys level up, so that's good. Melee attack plus three. Is there something that gives us integrity? We need integrity real bad, but we'll actually go... Uh, let's do this. Yeah, we'll go that route with him. Thirsty this guy will actually go sacking and looting and raiding income gets increased Ready for battle. okay so we got we can go there uh, should I go up here to so so piane or not um, I'm not gonna raise it there's really no reason for me to raise it but you know what I will do uh, we're just gonna get that huge buff and we actually can go let's go here that way we get some we get replenishment I'll leave Sopiane up there to to die and wither Siskia like I said I really 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 want to get settled first that's my goal is to get settled and if we can take a few settlements right off the bat as soon as we settle, then that would be quite nice. They got some nice armies coming at me, don't they? Yep. Ooh. Ooh that's rough. Uh, we could probably take them. I have five horsemen. Comet to Tensis Spears. And cohorts. That's what, 2,000 against my 1,800? We're actually going to retreat. They're going to come after me? Nope. Okay, so what we're going to do actually is I'm going to bring my blood swans 
I also need now uh, new horde suggestion names or uh, you know army suggestion names so if you have a group uh, sure friend forge a defensive or military alliance with the Visigoths Visigoths you really like me good and noble friend what an honor you do us. Um, Come speak so that the spirits can hear your words. We are military allies with them. Okay, cool. What we didn't look at is our objectives. I completely blew past those. So survive until 400 AD. Loot or sack three different settlements. Uh, research labor service. Okay, so actually let's go there. Um, hold the entirety of the following province, Dacia. Uh, where is Dacia? Province Dardania. We're not going to do that. I'm not going to fight the Huns right now. Can't do that. So that's fine. Uh, forge a defensive or military alliance with the Huns. They kind of hate me. I mean, they won't for long because I'm attacking the Romans. Out. No, why did you do that? Let's go here. He's going to retreat. We're going to force march. And we're going to attack this guy. That is their prince. We are going to fight this battle. Who knew that the third turn in, we'd get to fight the Western Roman Empire's prince. He is their heir, and he will die. Just to let you know. <clears throat> Just to let you know. Okay, the weather's dry. That's perfect. See, my allies come in right there. I'll do standard formation. And since I have two of pretty much the exact same army, I'll just double up on everything. We're going to super fast forward time just because I'm going to wait for reinforcements. Our reinforcements have arrived. Just waiting to see where all they're coming from. Okay, here we go. This is where we get to do super fun stuff. You're going to hide right behind them. Um, Let's go heavy shot. Yes, definitely. You guys are actually going to go in front. And then... Got these guys over here. That'll work. Where's my army? Where where are they? There they are. Super fast forward time again. I'm not gonna waste any time here. <clears throat> Just gonna wait for my armies to set up. They're not gonna do anything. So I have no issues there. Come on. They're exhausted. What kind of crap is that? We're going to move into the woods. We're going to move over here. Who they got? They got very light melee. Light melee. Very light melee. Uh, oh yeah, and my generals. Come on. Move along, little doggy, move along. And... Go up there. Oh 
Oh my word, you're so slow. They don't have any archers, do they? Oh, nice. That's fun. Let's see if I can't get them to spook a little bit. They're really not going to do anything, are they? There we go. Alright, now they're going to come out and attack us. Uh, you got these two guys. They're going to go here. Uh, you go there. You guys go there. There we go. Go after the general. Sure it does. We've what? Oh, we've already lost like 300. Slightly unfortunate. Do need to make sure that we kind of take out guys. Please say their general's dying. Palatina guards. So you know what? We're actually going to peel off. Um, but you guys are going to stop. You guys are going to come back here. You're going to punch a hole in every single one of these units. Just like a so. Nice. The enemy is going for our general. Protect him. Okay. That guy going there. You're going to go after this dude. Go over after that dude. Got that dude. All of you take that guy down. Nice. Okay, so he'll route soon. And when he does, we'll go after him, chase him down. Nice, he routed. Okay, you guys are gonna stop. You go there, you go there, you go there. Super fast forward time, we're going to completely remove this army from the face of the earth. Act like it never happened. There we go. Couple more dudes and we'll be awesome, ready to go. Shoot standard shot. See who gets to him first. Uh, you go there. Just a waiting. There we go. Decisive victory. 
We only lost 757. They lost 1,614. I'll take it. It's over double. Especially fighting against the Western Roman Empire. Yep, you're dead. Don't mind if I take your reinforcements. Ready for battle. Thirsty for battle. Let's go ahead and camp. That puts us in the positive. For the and, uh, yeah, we'll in the turn. Uh, this force has an un... Tended tradition, plus two integrity, and morale. We'll go ahead and do that. Oh, join war? No. Sorry. Wonder if taking out that army knocked them down at all in strength ranking. Wonder, ah, uh, wonder. Romans just don't see barbarians as a threat. But we are. Mission succeeded. We forged a defensive or military alliance with the following faction, the Visigoths. We got a grand out of it. The Abdanians and the West Roman Empire are at war with each other now. We're going to march down here. We're not going to fight that. Lost 82. We're going to sack it. Looks like he leveled up as well. In the turn. Oh, excuse me. We are coming at him with the powerful vengeance. Just want Roma. Which actually I believe isn't even the military capital of the Romans at this time. It was actually Mediolanum or modern day Milan. Uh, depending on when the era was. Excuse me, you get late, late Roman Empire and they're actually like way up in Germany as their headquarters, so... Just depends. Uh, the Vandals and the Alamans have made peace. Mark remains in Western Roman Empire. Path blocked. Father, be brave. How can I help? We cannot do that. Thirsty for battle. Ready for battle. We're gonna None besiege it. Gonna cross the Dagon River. Whatever. On the move, lads. Uh, uh. For the Lord, savior. Can I get past? I can. Father, be That's brave. fine. How can I help? It's in turn. So I have plenty of money to cover up the negativity. Sorry, I just didn't realize that. My strength without no, I don't want to do that. I'm sorry. The Huns. Good old Western Romans. Uh, defensive alliance with the Quadians. You are honorable, worthy, and strong, and only fools would not wish to be. Nope, sorry. Lugans and the Huns declared war. We get research rate plus three for military developments, and we develop labor service. Awesome. Um. Let's go ahead and do a Roman logistics system. All we got to do is survive until 400 AD. We can do that. We can do that. Um, we'll just three turns. That's ridiculous. 
Oh, and I can't even get catapults. That I is dumb. How can I help? Mm. No, stop it. My people are in danger. Can you not join with us and attack these dogs? The Visigoths, they actually settled already. I set aside my sword to speak to you. Uh, warriors. yeah, sure. This is the... That's fine. Huns, Huns, Huns. Make up your mind. Oh, goodness gracious. Your ally has been called defender of the Eastern Roman Empire. Uh, you know what? The Gepids. Military alliance. I'm going to have to break the alliance. I really don't want to declare war on the Eastern Roman Empire yet. And if I do, I want to get money out of it. So... See what you're doing there. Ain't going to do it. The Council of Carthage, 397, a historic gathering of churchmen is assembled to agree the official canon of Christian scripture. Christian following, plus 10. Christian support, public order, plus 10. Varnas, of Varnas. We'll encamp. What do we got here? We do five food from characters. And ammunition plus three. Do that and looting. Um, let's do food and defense and morale training. Military alliance broken. That's fine. For the Lord, yep, that's right. Okay, guys, you know what? I'm actually going to call an end to this episode. Um, I am unbelievably exhausted. I don't want to a re-record this or b like fall asleep and leave you guys just left with nothing for who knows how long. Uh, so that will be the end of part one of the Ostrogoths. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. We are going to get Salona, and then we are actually probably going to settle in Tarentum. And maybe even get Regium, and use that as our foundation in order to push and secure Italy. That will give us a lot of, um, just a good region to be in, I feel, uh, would be the really good, I mean, base fertility, four. Sure, we want up there, but that's a little bit harder to get to. Follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. Thank you guys for watching again. This is Havoc, and I'm out of here. Peace!